In this video, we're going to be going over the basic functions and features of the Yaesu FT70 handheld analog and digital um, radio. Um, there's a lot of features packed into this radio, and I just want to go over the basic ones to get you started and how to operate it. So here we go. Now, um, like a lot of Yesu radios, a lot of these um, functions and features will be the same. So I'm just going to go through all of them step by step, or one after the other, to get you started. So right here we got the VFO. Um, you can toggle through Monday, each band. Toggle through each band. Let me switch this. That's the uh, NOAA weather I had listening to earlier, but here you can listen to the 2 meter band on VFO, um, listen to uh, I think 200 to 300 air, AM aircraft band, which is like for military, and then um, the UHF band for amateur radio, and then a little bit higher you can get into... Um, some other services, and then you can listen to um, AM aircraft band um, 108 through 136 megahertz, I believe it is. So this is a pretty good coverage receiver other than um, the uh, 2 meter and uh, 70 centimeter ham bands. Um, so um, it, it's a good scanner if you just like to listen to, you know, public safety and uh, some other services as well. But uh, yeah, so there's the VFO, um, and obviously you can talk on each one of those, either 2 meter or 70 centimeter. You could just talk like this, press, press the PTT. Um, we're out of range of this repeater, so um, I won't be able to hit it, but uh, there's that VFO for you. Now I'm going to go to the memories by pressing V slash M. And then it'll recall all the memories you have programmed in this radio, which is kind of cool. I have like eight or nine in this radio. I only use um, a limited a limited variety that I can uh, reach with this radio. So I only have like eight or nine, but uh, um, you can program a lot more up into this radio. I don't know the exact number, but uh, it's more than, um, I think it's like 900 memory channels at least. So it's a lot and it has a good storage. So that's nice. So let's go, let's see. I'm gonna go back to the VFO and I'm gonna show you how to um, change the, uh, the uh, communication mode from analog to, to digital or to AMS. Now, right now we're in analog. Um, usually you can tell because it will say FM right there. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. It will say FM. And then um, if it was on digital voice mode only, it will say DN. And all you have to do to switch to that is pressing mode once, the mode button. And now we're in digital mode. And once we transmit with the PTT, we're in digital mode only. And we'll only be able to hear traffic from digital too. So that's how you do that. And you can go back, recalling it again, um, switching it back to analog. Now we're in back anal analog FM. Now, if you want to do AMS, you, you want to hold the AMS button. Don't press it, just hold it. And then it'll switch to AMS. And that way you can listen to analog and digital traffic if it's um, a um, a Yesu System Fusion repeater um, that has wires X or I guess more simple C4 FM and then analog, so you can talk on digital and analog on the same repeater. You can switch it to AMS and uh, it'll, it'll, it, it will hear both traffic. Um, just whatever comes on at, at, at the time, it will switch to that and you can hear it. It's also kind of nice. Most JC radios that have um, 
the digital capability have this, so it's nothing new. Whoops. And to get out of it, you want to hold AMS button again until it disappears. And now we're back into analog FM. So now let's go, let's see, let's go through some of these buttons right here. Um, if you want to go to the reverse of the repeater, the default for this button, uh, HM slash RV, the default mode for this is the reverse. You can also change it to the home um, frequency if you program it right in the set mode, but it's on default. I haven't changed it, so it's on the reverse. So let me try that again so you can see better. Change it to the reverse, which is the input of the repeater. That way you can hear um, if the per person you're talking to is in simplex range, then switch back. So that's the reverse button. And like I already said, you switch from band to band in the VFO, by pressing band. And then I already went over V slash M, which is to recall your memories. Now, let's see, let's go into the set mode. So what you wanna do is press function and hold it. And now you enter the set mode. And all these settings you can toggle through based on your operating needs. Just to give you an idea, let's go to the DC voltage to select one of them. The voltage is 7.2 volts. Um, battery's getting a little low. I haven't charged it in a day or two, so it uh, probably needs a charge soon. But all these settings you can um, put in and um, program to your operating needs. Um, what you prefer, I think there's 57 set mode settings in here, which is a lot. Oh, more than 57, 64, yeah. So 64 settings in the set mode um, function, you can, um, like I said, Two other times you you can program this to your operating needs, and then to get out of it, you just either press the PTT. I just I just I just say press the PTT. Actually, it's the easiest thing to get out of it. And um, yeah, that's how you do the um, the uh, set mode. And then one more thing, I'm gonna go into scanning, um, but. Uh, Let's go to the individual tuning first. To um, kind of move around frequencies, you use this knob right here um, to go back and forth. And I like how this knob is very, um, has a little notch for each turn. If you turn it cl clockwise or counterclockwise, it makes it feel like, you know, it's firm and it's a good quality construction. Um, if you turn it back and forth, and it's a little click. I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, let me go to the microphone and see if you can hear it. I don't know if you heard that, but uh, this thing clicks every time you you turn right or left. So I think that's pretty nice. And to scan, either on the VFO or the memory bank, you um, press function. And then the number two, which is the scan button with the function. And you, you can scroll or scan up or down the band. And then to switch back the other way, you go like this. And you're going down. Works the same way for the memories, just scans the individual memories. Let's stop this. And just press the PTT to stop. Go back to the memory and let's scan. Same thing, press function and the scan button. So, and not even from a radio person. So, uh, that was. And, and it's uh, scanning. This is my all star node um, receiving some traffic. Me, so Go the other way. Park. 
deployed a radio to chase some coda. I think I got I know I got And that is how you scan for the VFO and the memory channel. And before we end this, I'm gonna go over the side the the buttons on the side. Um hope you can see that. The monitor button. Open the squelch. So that's that button, and then there's the volume button. You can probably see that better. Hold this, um, and then what you do is you would scroll with this knob up here, up or down, to increase or decrease the volume. I like the volume where it is, so I'm just going to leave it. Then unhold it to get back to what you were doing before. And on the side here, this is the mic speaker jack where you can um, uh, input the hand mic. Um, very convenient if you want to put this, you know, on a backpack or in your car. You can attach a mic to this and have it be extended. And then, if you want to do, you know, packet or data communications like WinLink or whatever, this is the jack that you would use to um, to uh, input it in there, um, or like APRS or stuff like that. You would use the use the data jack, and then this one right here um, is for external DC in. You can run your radio um, with an external power source like power supply or a battery um, and you can even run this in your vehicle's battery um, have it be that source of power plug it into here so yeah that's kind of the basic functions and features kind of a little overview of the ASU FT70 um, not a lot to you know not a lot of features to know to get started with this radio. It's very simple, very easy. If you had race, if you had Yesu's, Yesu radios in the past, it'd probably be really easy to um, get a hang of it. Um, not that hard. So, if this was helpful um, um, to you, I, I I hope that it was really helpful to you. Um, please um, leave me a comment if you would like and maybe consider subscribing. I've put up a lot of videos on different radios that I've had or have right now um, and I hope that you find some value in this. So thanks for watching and uh, I appreciate it.